Grace, mercy, and peace be unto everyone. Good night. Welcome once again to Real Talk. Uh, sorry about that. Having a little bit of technical difficulties. I had to go up and come back in. Uh, but glory be to God. Here we go again. Uh, we give God praise. Let's hope it is good this time. Just let me know if um, anything is acting up again. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you know, this is how it is. I am a child. Uh, we give him praise. Indeed, we are children of the Most High God. And we just want to give him praise on tonight. Once again, welcome to Real Talk uh, to everyone, wherever you are viewing me tonight. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Yes, it is the night hour. Uh, and we're just giving God thanks that he's kept us throughout the course of the day. <coughs> Glory to God. Uh, the fact that, <coughs> my word. The fact that you're up still on top of your grave, it is enough to give God some thanks. It is enough to give him some praise. It is enough uh, to magnify the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord on tonight. Uh, we bless the Lord. Again, my name is Vivian. I'm coming to you uh, live from out of Toronto, Canada. Again, welcome to those of you who are in chat, those of you who will watch uh, later on, those of you who are behind the scenes uh glory to god god bless you uh you know it's <laughs> i tell you sometimes you wonder who's watching you uh but there's people watching there's people watching and how i know people are watching uh when they see me and they say oh you know this or oh you know that i'm thinking oh okay uh so you're one of my behind the scenes watchers uh glory to god so i want to big up all my behind the scenes watchers that's okay if you feel comfortable uh in the back bench that's all right uh glory to god God bless you and God keep you. Uh, tonight, I want to talk to us. I want to encourage somebody tonight. Uh, this not might not be a word for everybody. Uh, glory to God. Um, you know, but I want to talk 
uh, to those, uh, glory to God, who ask themselves a question, uh, glory to God, you know, um, why, why was I born? <laughs> you know, people ask that question, you know, uh, sometimes you go through things in life, you're asking yourself, you know, why was I born? Why, why, why? Uh, glory to God. But I want to encourage uh, you tonight, those who ask the question, those who are asking the question, uh, why you are born. You know, uh, it's unfortunate that at least unfortunate to us or to parents, uh, you know, it's not everybody that's going to be uh, come into, uh, you know, this life, um, you know, with parents that are married and all that stuff. And, you know, it's not all of us that comes, uh, you know, in a nice uh, gold package with bow on it. And no, not everybody comes like that, you know, but you might not have come that way, you know what I mean? Or that might not have been your story. But I want to let you know that you're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. Uh, glory to God, you're not a mistake. You know, uh, and there's some of you out there that, you know, um, your mother, might have said to you oh she wish you were never born i heard lots of testimonies of you know people testifying you know of what um parents said to them uh you know what should have left you at the hospital and all of that stuff so i want to talk to you tonight you know i want to talk to you i was listening to the news uh the other night um, yes, yeah, so just a clip uh, from down in Jamaica, and they were talking to a father, uh, glory to God, who, um, you know, whose son, you know, is involved in certain things, and the police is trying to catch him, and, you know, he spends a lot of money trying to get his son out of trouble, and, you know, going to savings, and doing all sorts of things just to make sure that he's there for his son, and I heard the dad, the father said, uh, glory to God, I think, you know, that people are looking to get rid of him and all that stuff. And the father said to the police officer, to the interviewer, uh, glory to God, sorry, uh, you know, um, he wouldn't mind if, if he dies. He wouldn't mind, you know, if he's not here anymore. It would be better for him, the father. And imagine, you know, to hear that coming from a parent, uh, that that parent could be in such a position that they're wishing that, you know what, that this person wasn't even born. Uh, they figure it would be better for them, it would be less painful for them. They wouldn't have to be going through. So that might be you tonight, uh, where you heard your parents or you overheard them say, you know what, I wish I didn't have you. I wish that you weren't born. I want to encourage you tonight. I want to encourage you. You might, uh, it might seem to your parents, uh, even to yourself, that you were a mistake. But I want to let you know you're not a mistake. God planned your life. He planned it. Uh, yes, he planned. You might be saying, Vivian, how could that be? Uh, you know, I came through this way. Or this is what happened, that how I was conceived and all that. I want to let you know uh, that uh, your life was planned. Uh, glory to God. Let's go to the portion of scripture. I'm going to read two scriptures. I just want to open up with the Psalms because I'm going to kind of bring reference to it later on. Uh, and then I have one verse from another scripture. Uh, glory to God. The book of Psalms 139. Uh, I'm reading from the New King James Version. And again, if you're one wondering uh, why you were born uh, or if your life was a mistake after being told many times, I want to let you know you're not a mistake. Uh, God planned your life. From the book of Psalms 139, it reads, a search, oh, sorry, oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. Uh, glory to God. You have hedged me behind and before, and you laid hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and I dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Glory to God. Your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall follow me, even the night shall be light about me. 
Indeed, the darkness shall not hide uh, from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. Uh, glory to God. For 13 says, for you, for you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. I'm here again to encourage somebody. You might think you're a mistake. Uh, glory to God. Uh, you know, parents might have told you they wish you weren't born, but I want to let you know that your life, uh, glory to God, has been planned by God. And I want to repeat it uh, from verse 13. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, glory to God. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. One more verse. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought, wrought in the lowest part of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance yet being yet unformed and in your book they are they are they are they all sorry were written the days fashioned for me when as yet there was none of them how precious also are your thoughts to me uh glory to god i want to encourage somebody uh glory to god that you are precious to god uh glory to god how precious are your thoughts to me oh god how great are the sum of them if i could count them they would be more in number than the sand when i awake I am still with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, oh God. Depart from me, therefore, you bloodthirsty man, for they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. Uh, glory to God. I just want to stop there. So I want to, uh, again, encourage somebody, just in case, uh, glory to God, you are thinking that, you know, your life is a mistake. You're not a mistake. Glory to God. Just read uh, this portion of scripture, even if it's from verse 13. Uh, glory to God down, uh, you know, to verse, uh, yes, 18 signifies, I guess what, you're not a mistake, uh, glory to God. Uh, we go into the second portion of scripture, uh, Genesis chapter two and verse seven. Uh, again, we're speaking, and this might not be for everybody, but it's for somebody who's struggling, uh, glory to God, because you've been told all these negative things and you believe them. I'm here tonight, uh, glory to God, with the erase of the Holy Spirit to erase every negative thing that was spoken of your life, because your life is not a mistake. You're not a mistake. Uh, God planned your life. The book of Genesis, uh, chapter two and verse seven reads, the Lord God formed the man. Yeah, the Lord God formed the man. We bless his name. We bless his name. The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. Oh, my God. And the man became a living being. I want to read that again. The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul there ending the reading of this portion of scripture again I just want to encourage somebody tonight uh glory to God that you're not a mistake oh, I one thing I do know it's not the package but it's the contents glory to God we bless the name of the Lord and you know if you if you just get to the place uh, where you will uh, start to feel good about yourself, glory to God. You will feel good about other people as well. And most of the time uh, when people don't feel good about others, it's because they don't feel good about themselves. Uh, so I encourage you, uh, glory to God, to find something within yourself uh, that you will feel good about yourself, glory to God. What am I trying to say here? You see, after we see ourselves as worthwhile, for years, you've been told that you're worthless. For years, you've been told that you're never going to be amount to nothing. For years, you've been told, you know what? You're just like this. You're just like that. You're a disgrace to the family. Uh, all the negative, you've been, you've, you've been told that for years. But if you can only see yourself as worthwhile, uh, glory to God, then and only then that you'll be able to appreciate other people as well as worthwhile people. Uh, glory to God. You see, unfortunately, this is a reality and sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow, but many people don't feel good about themselves. 
Many people don't love themselves. There are many people who don't like something about themselves, whether it's their nose, whether it's their bum, whether it's their hand, whether it's their lip, whether it's their ear. Like they just look at themselves, I'm telling you, and they just find some fault. They just don't feel comfortable about themselves. Uh, they look at themselves and wonder why God made them. Our glory to God. Yes, they can't find anything good about themselves to love. Uh, glory to God. You know, they ask, why did I have to be born short? Why did my nose have to be this big? Why did my lip have to be this big? Why did I, you know, I didn't come with any butt. You know, I don't have any hips. Everything in the book, they look to say, why, why, why did God do this? Why did God make me this way? Glory to God. But I want to encourage us tonight. You have to remember, God sees uh, what others and we ourselves can't even see. We bless the name of the Lord, uh, glory to God. When God looks at us, he sees that we are worth feeling good about. Come on, somebody. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I am worth feeling good about. Yeah, even if nobody else feels good, I am worth feeling good about because that's what God, when God looks at you, he says, hey, uh, she or he is worth feeling good about. Glory to God. We are special. Again, I want to talk to somebody who's feeling, uh, you know, uh, like you're not worth it and you're feeling not loved and you feel like your whole life is a mistake and why this and why that. You are special to God. And you're not only special to God, but you are valuable and important. You are important. You might not be important to your neighbor. You're not by important to your colleagues. You might not even be important to your children. You might not be important to your husband or your wife. But I'm here tonight to encourage somebody that you are important uh, to God and you are special to God and you are valuable. Uh, glory to God. And I also want to add on that God has a great, a good uh, attitude towards you. And he is the one, uh, glory to God, that should mean uh, his opinion should override everybody else's opinion. You're special. You are so special. You're so valuable and important that he created you in his image. Come on, it's not alone to make you feel good that God created you in his own image. That's how special you are. That's how valuable you are. That's how important you are that, you know what he said, let us make man in our own image and our likeness. That's how, how much he values us. I'll go to God. We are so special. You are so special that he took you out of himself. So you can't look at yourself and say you're a mistake. You can't look at yourself and you know and says, you know what, uh, I don't worth, I'm not worth uh, living or I shouldn't be here. You have the right to be here, uh, glory to God, because guess what, God planned your life. Just think about it. And I know maybe sometimes it's hard to grasp, uh, glory to God. And it's hard to even get a hold of it. Good night, Brother Rakeem. Uh, but God, before you were born, and I know if we ever sat and think about it, before you were born, you were in God. We were in God. Everything was in God, including us, you and I. And that is why when he breathed into man, part of his potential has been placed within us and each human being is a part of the potential of God. That's how, that means you can't be a mistake. And that's why it's so important uh, that many times when I said, you know, uh, he was here before the beginning because there could not be a beginning without God. Because God got here before even the beginning was here. He was already here. Because he's the one that started this beginning. So he had to be here before the beginning to start it. And you were already in him. Oh, glory to God. And just think about it. Before he took you out of himself, oh, glory to God, he had already finished the plan for your life. So you can't be a mistake. Glory to God. 
and that which God has placed inside of you, uh, glory to God. It's not a trial and error experience. God designed uh, you. He predestined and predetermined you to be a success story. I don't care how you got here. I don't care if it was from out of adulterous relationship. I don't care if your mother was raped, uh, glory to God. God had already predestined you to be a success story. Uh, your story might not look good right now. It might not be one that anybody wants to read, but let me tell you something. When it gets to the end of that book, it is going to be a success story to the glory of God. You are not a mistake. <clears throat> we just read from the book of Psalms 139. And Psalms 139 tells us that God planned each of your days before you were born. Just think about it. Every one of your days has been planned before you were born. So then how could you be a mistake? You're not a mistake. Don't ever believe that you're a mistake. God planned your life. Before you were formed, go to the word of God. Uh, yes, God knew you. And just think about it. When we read this scripture, and you go read it for yourself. You know, he took great care in creating us. There's no part of our being that was made without God's knowledge. Come on, somebody. You're not a mistake. I don't care where you are in life or what you're facing. You're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. God planned your life. Look at the, how, how important you are, how important we are to God. He gave us what no other part of his creation received. Think about it. His breath of life. I'll read it again. Genesis 2, 7. The Lord formed, the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. I don't, I don't, we, I don't, I don't, um, um, I don't, I don't know. And if anybody can help me, there's no in scripture that it says he he blew breath in cows or he blew breath in 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 the fishes or he blew breath. There, there's nowhere in scripture. And if anybody could find that, you know, help me out. Uh, glory to God, but I'm yet to come across it. Uh, glory to God. That's why you, your life is not a mistake. No other part of his creation received the breath of life. And, and I want to talk to us tonight, and those of you who are in chat, if you wish to type in and we'll join later and listen. Have you ever felt like you're a mistake? Come on, let's be honest. Have you ever gone through something you felt like you're a mistake? You know, you felt like, you know what, uh, you know, you're just a bad afterthought for somebody. You know, you're, you're, you're just a mistake. If you weren't born, your family wouldn't have gone through this. Or this. Have you ever felt like you were a mistake? Have your parents ever told you they wish... You had never been born. I'm sure somebody tonight could say with all honesty, Vivian, I've felt that at one point. Or Vivian, my parents told me that at one point. Again, as I said, this young man, you know, saying that he wished his son would just die because it would be better for him. Have your parents ever told you that? I heard a testimony of one prophet. He's, he's now retired, expired. Uh, but he said that when he was born, uh, you know, and his mom took him home. Uh, his father said, bring him back to the hospital. Yeah, bring him back. He doesn't want him. I want to talk to somebody tonight. Uh, you know, uh, many of us, uh, you know, uh, we may be bastards uh, conceived out of wedlock. Uh, but just think about it. Just think about it for now. The omnipotent God. Listen, listen to how you're not a mistake. We got to know the God whom we're talking about tonight. The, um, being the omnipotent God 
You understand? Who had the power to prevent your conception and he didn't? Think about it. God had the power to prevent your conception. It doesn't matter how quick the sperm was swimming up like a Usain Bolt. Oh, glory to God. God could have prevented that conception, yet God allowed it because he wanted you to show up. Just think about uh, somebody who got, who, and you know, we do not endorse rape and all that stuff. It is wrong. Uh, glory to God. You understand what I'm saying? It is wrong. We don't endorse it. Uh, yes, and I believe that anyone who does that act, whether uh, female, because you have female rapists, uh, you understand what I'm trying to say? And if they're found guilty, you know what I mean? The law should be applied to them. Uh, glory to God. But just think of somebody who uh, conceived out of the act of rape. You might be a person right now that you came into being out of your mom getting raped. God could have prevented that. He had the power to prevent that conception, but he didn't. Because he wanted you to show up. I want to tell somebody today, you are here because God wanted you to be born. What we got to understand, and I want you to understand, is that, you know, it's not how you came. That's not what's important. What matters is that you are here. And you're here because he wanted you to be here. So I want to encourage somebody tonight. You're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. Read Psalms uh, 139. And you'll see how God took a, put a lot of care into to allowing you to show up. When you read it, you'll see, uh, you know, how special you are to God. You might not be special to your parents. You might not be special to your husband. Uh, glory to God. They might not see you as valuable. Uh, glory to God. They might not even look at you as important. But I want to let somebody know tonight that you're special in the eyes of God. You're valuable and you're important. And God planned your life. You are not a mistake. I don't care how you got here. You're not a mistake because God could have prevented it from happening. So find comfort in these words tonight. You might not, you might not like, glory to God, where you're at. You might not like your situation. You might not like the fact that you're smoking. You might not like the fact, uh, you understand that you're engaged in, in all sorts of things, but you're not a mistake. Psalms uh, 139 and verse 15 says this, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. In spite of what you're going through right now, God designed each and every one of us to be a success, a success story. Come on, somebody. Your mother may have been an alcoholic or drug addict. or even a prostitute. Glory to God, but guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Think about it for a minute. Again, as I said, God 
never would have allowed the sperm and the egg to come together if he had not planned for you to be born. Nothing could have made it happen. And, and I want to let somebody know, your mom, as I said, might have been a drug addict. Uh, you know, your mom might have been with a married man, all sorts of things, but in that womb. But listen, the womb in which you were knitted together, go to the word of God and read it, and you'll realize you're not a mistake. The womb in which you were knitted together is no longer important. It's not important. But you are important. So you might feel like ending your life because, you know, it's not worth living and, and your life doesn't have, doesn't have the meaning and it's, not impo it's important to God. Your very existence means that God wants you to exist. And, and I want to let you know something. Uh, you're special. You know, I was, I'm talking to somebody tonight as I encourage myself. You are special. And you're special not because of what you can do for me, not because what you could do for somebody. You are special just simply because you were born. Glory to God. You know, I remember when my, when my daughter conceived and, and, you know, she went for the ultrasound because they had to, um, you know, see the fetal pole and hear the heartbeat, uh, glory to God. And I could even barely see nothing. Like, I, I mean, you know, I just say boom, 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 but I can hardly see anything. God already saw you. That tiny embryo. He watched over you. He watched you grow. He was a part of your development, everything. Come on, somebody. And I want to talk to parents. You know, you might feel like your child, your baby boy, your baby girl is a mistake. But your thoughts aren't true. They're not a mistake. God planned for that baby to be born. And you know, unfortunately, there are many of you who will probably scroll through this and listen. You know what? Uh, you were born, uh, glory to God. You were brought up in a nice home, nice family with a mother and father who loved you. You might not understand what I'm trying to say tonight. But you see, those of us who have been put down by our family and friends and other people since the day of our birth, I want you to know that you're important. And I want you to know you're not a mistake. Every child who comes into the world is here because God allowed it to be so. Yeah, so again, you're not a mistake. You're here because God wants you to be here. And he has everything planned. Huh? God already has a book on you. Did you think about it? He has a book on us already. Again, go back to Psalms 139 verse 4. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. God designed you to be a somebody. So when somebody says you're nobody, say, eh, 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 eh. no, 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 no. I am a somebody because God designed me to be a somebody. Come on, somebody. So 
So I want to encourage you tonight. Your life is not a mistake. You're here. You showed up because God wanted you to show up because he could have prevented that conception. The womb that you came out of, that mother might have been a drug addict. It might have been whatever. But guess what? It's not about the womb right now. It's about you. So find comfort tonight, knowing you're not a mistake. You're valuable. Uh, glory to God. We bless the name of the Lord. Somebody needs to be encouraged tonight. That bottle of pill isn't the answer. That bottle of alcohol isn't the answer. Jesus is the answer. So find comfort tonight in these words that you're not a mistake. You're here on purpose, by purpose, for his purpose and his glory. And you're so important to him, uh, glory to God, that he created you in his image and his likeness. So accept it, dry your tears and look at yourself and say to yourself, I am a somebody. I am a success story. Say that to yourself, yeah. I am a success story, glory to God. Keep telling yourself that. Doesn't matter what other people are saying. Doesn't matter even what it looks like right now. It might not look like it's a success story, but guess what? Speak it by faith that I am a somebody. I am here on purpose because God could have pre prevented the conception, but I am here I, and I am a success story. Glory to God and let the Holy Spirit do the rest. All right. So be encouraged knowing that you are somebody. You're not a mistake and you're very important in the eyes of God. Be blessed. We give God praise tonight. Again, I just want to thank those of you who are joining me tonight. Uh, yes, somebody needed to hear that. You know, somebody needed to hear that um, you're not a mistake. It doesn't matter uh, about how you got here. It's the important thing is that you are already here. You're already here and you are a part of the plan of God. Uh, glory to God. He didn't make any mistake. All right. Uh, we're going home. Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.
to God and his face shine upon you. Uh, again, we bless the name of the Lord. We just want to thank God tonight for his word. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God is such a good God and we are just thanking him uh, for all that he has done and thanking him uh, just for loving, uh, loving us. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and now uh, we know uh, and we continue to believe that we're not a mistake. Uh, too often just feel blessed by that word. Uh, just a few announcements. As of today, right now, when I sign off, I will not be back on again, God's grace, until Sunday. Uh, yep, Sunday evening, uh, which will be word uh, day in the house, um, you know, on Sundays here. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a speaker in on Sunday. Uh, glory to God, Sunday evening at 7.30 again because of the scheduling at work so again i just want to uh let all my viewers know how much i appreciate you i appreciate your viewership and i appreciate your comments and uh just how you engaged uh glory to god and those of you who shared the video uh you know god bless you you know when you get something that uh does something for you you want to share with somebody else so i appreciate that uh that you do that all right so again let us continue to pray one for another continue to pray for me pray my strength as we move forward uh in doing that which we're called to do for god as you see now posted there um uh, next week friday real talk will be live at this prayer event uh glory to god that new life um let me tell you i don't want to say the name wrong uh glory to god let me just go to the flyer uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, yes, uh, New Life Church Community Ministry. Uh, they're hosting a prayer conference. It's something that they do every month at the end of the month. Uh, the theme of this one is life and hope are renewed after the storm. Uh, glory to God. Yes, after every storm, <laughs> there must be a calm. Glory to God. Uh, so yours truly will be there the Friday night. Uh, glory to God. Yes, um, doing the uh, the prayer part of it uh, Friday night along with um, uh, Reverend uh, Edwards. Uh, glory to God. And then, you know, they have um, their Sunday service. Uh, you know, so if you don't have a church home and you're looking uh, for somewhere to go, you know, you might want to uh, go there uh, Sunday morning. I'm sure there is going to be a word in the house for you. All right. Uh, Glory to God. Also be reminded that uh, we are planning a day of prayer. Uh, Glory to God. We're trying to put that together where we all come together and just pray. Uh, Glory to God. Our apostles, those are prophets, uh, you know, our intercessors, our, our evangelists, our missionaries. Uh, glory to God. We coming together just crying out to God that we know uh, that can answer prayers. If every time we need to pray this now, it's one thing to talk about doing something, but uh, yes, we need now to put our talks into action. Okay, glory to God. So listen uh, to hear more of that um, in the future to come. But this one, uh, glory to God, has been hosted by New Life uh, Church Community Ministries and myself will be there, glory to God. Uh, so I invite you to come on over 
Uh, glory to God. I'm going to need your help. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. Take, you know, get an opportunity to, to uh, cry out as well. Glory to God. Unto God that we know who can deliver us. All right. So again, those are just my announcements, uh, you know, going forward. All right. Uh, so again, wherever you are around the world, remember that Jesus is Lord. I want to remind you that you're the heart of a champion. You have the mind of an overcomer and you have the spirit of more than a conqueror because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. Remember, you are lit candle. Go out and light your world. Glory to God. And if you're just wondering, as I just said, if anyone loves you, if anyone cares about you, if you're a mistake, you're not a mistake. I don't care what the condition of that womb was. Uh, glory to God. It's not about the womb. It's not about the package, but it's about the contents. Uh, glory to God. And again, God could have prevented Prevented, uh, glory to that that conception but guess why he didn't because he wanted you to arrive here he wanted you to show up uh, glory to God because he has great plans for you so uh, don't 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 even think about uh, what you're gonna do just look at yourself and say you're a somebody and you're important somebody you're not just any anybody you are an important person yeah believe it. All right. God bless you. I was a privilege serving you on tonight with clean hands and a pure heart and a right motive. Good night to the entire world.